Hello everyone, I'm Mike Sokol from RV Electricity and the No Shock Zone. Today I'm going to show you how to install a soft start RV on your RV air conditioner without cutting any wires. It's really a cool new way to do this. Um, and I'm so excited to actually get to try this on my own air conditioner here. But first, let's head down to the lab so I can show you how to prep the wiring on the soft start RV controller. To make this really really easy once you get up on your roof okay everybody now we're back in the lab here we're going to go ahead and prep the soft start rv for this uh, and of course here's the main unit right here i'm just going to set them off to the side to keep them out of the way so i can bring my cabling over um, you may or may not already have a female connector on the yellow wire but uh, we're going to prep as if we did not um, I've got my diagram over here that shows how this, the male and the female connectors that go on it. Um, you can get these Utilitech uh, disconnect pairs. I just picked these up over at Lowe's for less than four bucks, three dollars and change, three seventy nine, something like that. Um, looks like they're going to do a great job. Um, I also have a. Um, this is actually a contractor grade crimper. You can get a cheaper one than that. Uh, I've got contractor grade um, diagonal cutters. Again, you can get inexpensive ones for that. You may not need the diagonal cutters, but I always like having them around. You can see that I've got five wires here that I need to deal with, and they're all color coded. And if we look over here, it shows us the wiring colors and whether they need a male or a female connector. So I'm just gonna pick one at random here. Now this is the yellow one. You can see it's marked as this guy all the way here and it says it needs a female connector. And this guy already has a female connector on it uh, from the factory. And I think that's absolutely fine. We'll roll with that. I'm gonna set him back out of the way. Let's go ahead and take another one here. Here's a, a red wire. Okay, you can see this red wire it says it's going to need a female connector on it. Now, they note up here that we need three female and three male connectors. Let me get a little closer in here for you. Um, so these guys right here are the female connectors. You see those? So I'm gonna go ahead and say, okay, on the red wire, I'm gonna put a female connector. I've got it cut back a quarter of an inch is or so. Um, Poke that in here. It's important that you don't have any stuff hanging out. Um, this guy here, I'm gonna go ahead and crimp it on. Whoops. There we go. Nice solid connection. That one's all done, ta-da. We'll set him off to the side. Let's just pick another one here. This is brown. Okay, it looks like the brown one's gonna require a male connector right here. Um, you can see this looks like this is a little long here in terms of the, ins of the wire that's cut back. So I'm gonna take my diagonal cutters here and do this over a trash can. And just kind of cut off a little bit. So we're back down to a reasonable level. Male connector inserted on there. So it comes to that part. We'll take our crimper. Make sure it's a nice tight crimp. That looks good. Brown is done. Lay him back. Let's go look at the blue connector. Blue wire here. I've had that in and out of a few things. It's a little mashed up, but looks okay. So the blue connector looks like it needs a male, excuse me, the blue wire needs a male connector as well. So let's go ahead and put that on. Set up our crimper. Ugh. There we go. Ta-da, that looks good. We're in good shape there. And let's see, what, what are we missing here? Ah, there we go. It looks like our black. Let's make sure that that's pulled out straight. I'm gonna clean that up just a little bit with my diagonal cutters here. I'll clean the, get the tip of it off here. Yeah, I know, I'm making a mess here. 
And it says the black one would like to have a female connector. So we'll, we'll put that female disconnect on there. Run that out like that. Ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. <clears throat> so that looks good. So right now, let's follow the schematic. And I'll get a little closer to this. There we go. Let's let you see what's going on. Whoops. Ah, we need that. So it says that the black one right here should have a female disconnect on it. And it does. The yellow one should have a female disconnect on it. And it does. This was from the factory. And the blue wire has a male connector on it as required. Perfect. The red wire has a female connector installed on it that we put on. It's going to make sure they're nice and tight. And then the black wire here, it says we need to have um, a female connector on it. What did I mess up? Oh, that's the brown. I'm sorry. I'm a little colorblind here. The brown has a male connector on it. We already did the black wire. I can't tell the difference sometimes. So I think we're in good shape there. Okay. So right now, you don't want to do this on the roof of your RV if you could avoid it. I would recommend just doing this, you know, on, on your uh, bench or, you know, table or anything like that. It's not too hard to do. Like I said, uh, these little Utilitech uh, 12 to 10 gauge, um, 16 count. So this is perfect for this. Like I said, I just walked into Lowe's and got it for three and a half bucks. Um, it's always good to have a nice pair of uh, diagonal cutters and some kind of a thing. See, this is a crimper. You could do this with regular pliers, but a, a crimper makes a much better connection and looks like we're all good to go. Okay, so next I'm going to take this outside um, and just go plug it on into my, my air conditioner according to the diagram here. So I think this is going to be pretty slick. See you in just a minute. In this case, because I have limited room right in here, what I ended up doing was cutting off this flange. And they said that it's okay to do, it won't void your warranty. Uh, I also put some super duper um, Velcro on the back of this. And I'm gonna mount this right down in here. Uh, the nice thing about doing it like this is it's completely out of the slips, the airstream of this thing. There we go. So I'll probably add another screw in it or a strap around it later, but right now this is good enough. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to feed the wiring around through to the outside. Let me meet you on the other side of the unit here. Okay, now I've already removed the cover over here. Now you'll see some of the wiring tape in here because I've had this thing cut apart for a variety of experiments. And of course, always make sure that you've got all of your power off everywhere. Uh, here's the ends that I had done previously. So what I'm going to do is just kind of fish them through. I had to pop a um, strain relief out of here, but I'm going to go ahead and add one in later. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and just pop these three things through one at a time. And again, I'm going to go ahead and tape those up just to kind of keep everybody nice and neat. Da, 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 da. Yes, I was singing to myself when I'm doing this. You guys know I'm a musician, right? Beautiful. Okay. So now I've got these all fed through. Like I said, later I'm going to tape that up and put a little silicon ring around that just to keep that okay. Okay, so now... Now we're ready to move on to part three. I'm going to kill this and reset the camera so we can get a little better look at what I'm doing. Okay, now we're back on the other side here. Um, so we've got all of our other wires pulled through. I've got my directions down here. Um, it says step one, follow the white compressor wire to the run capacitor C terminal, disconnect and connect to the blue soft start wire. So that's this guy right here and I'd already traced it from inside. 
So I'm going to disconnect that. Now sometimes what I like to use is uh, just a pair of needle nose to be able to get that off easily. So I've got this guy off and it says the white compressor and connect connected to the blue soft start wire. Okay, so here's our blue wire from soft start right here. And these two are going to connect together. I'm gonna to tape these up later, but there, that first one is done and out of our way. Okay, connect. The black soft start wire to the terminal the white wire was on. Simple enough, right? So we go in here, we take this black wire right here, and we hook it. We've already put the proper ends on. See, they told us what we were gonna need. Okay, so that part is done. Don't break off the compressor, or, yeah, the condenser wires here. Okay, so that part, that, that is all done. Let me just feed the wires around here to get these out of the way a little bit. Okay, very good. Now, next part here. Whoops, there we go. Next part. Com connect the yellow soft start wire to the terminal next to the red compressor wire. So here's this. This is our red compressor wire right here. And we're going to go ahead, whoops, and poke that down here. Okay, that's in place. If you see a second red wire next to the red compressor wire, disconnect it and tape the end. So I'm going to go ahead and pop that off of here. There it is. And I'm just going to go ahead and tape that end up. To keep him out of trouble. Okay, we'll poke him out of the way. All done. Follow the blue loop compressor wire into the electric box into the K6 relay, and that's this guy right here. Disconnect and connect it to the brown soft start. So we disconnect this. There we go. There's our wire right there. And here is our brown soft start wire. We'll connect those two together. Whoops. There we go. That's all good. Excellent. I'm going to put a little wrap of tape around there anyway. Because I don't like bare things hanging out. That's always asking for trouble. A little neater to tape later. Okay, connect the red soft start wire onto terminal blue. The compressor wire was on. So we're going to hook it on to that guy right there. Ta-da. I've run out of wires. Okay, so now, right now it's in hardly 40 degrees in my house outside. I'm shivering a little bit. I don't have a really good opportunity to turn this on and test it today, but I will next week as soon as the sun comes out. Uh, we'll go ahead and another run, of the, run another test on this. But you can see this is actually a pretty simple install thing. Uh, like I said, I am going to go ahead and add some additional um, silicon tape up here just so I don't have any wires rubbing. Everything else looks like it's good to go. On some of these units, you have to pop the top off the compressor um, to access one of the terminals, but not on this one, apparently. Uh, and again, so this is on a Dometic Penguin, um, just a straight air conditioner, no uh, extra stuff. Okay, everybody. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. This should, you know, once you have all your stuff prepped and everything, this should take you less than 10 or 15 minutes total because, you know, you got to take the cap off and open up the cover, feed the wires through, and push the, the terminals on. But really is that simple. I think it's absolutely a brilliant solution. And if you ever need to get back to original, you know, for a warranty repair, you can pop that stuff back off and put your other wires back on. I, I highly recommend that you guys go ahead and um, take pictures of everything you do before and after. Always, always good. Okay, I'm Mike Sokol from RB Electricity and the No Shock Zone. And uh, thanks for watching my, um, my no cut 
install the Softstart RV on my Penguin 2 air conditioner.